Earl Spence Jr. What's going on? Are you that much of a f coward that you can't sign this goddamn contract? Motherfucker. Matter of fact, I'll fight your bitch. Let's get it popping right now. You can put the belts on the line and I'll whoop your ass right now. If you don't want to fucking fight Terrence Crawford, let it be known. Blair Flair is here. Let's go. What's going on, you guys? Blair the Flair Cobbs is no longer with Golden Boy. States that they failed to promote him and that they failed to take his career to an elite level. Hit that like button for your boy, William Bushido Boxing TV. This is where we gonna be. The flamboyant, the outspoken, the boisterous Blair the Flair Cobbs is no longer with Golden Boy Promotions. And if you've been following boxing for quite a while, you notice that a lot of the black fighters, African-American fighters that's fighting under the Golden Boys promotional company, they don't seem to get put out in the forefront. They don't seem to be getting pushed as some of the um, Hispanic fighters, right? This is just common knowledge. This is just what, whether you want to um, acknowledge it or not, this is the reality, right? But Blair the Flair Cops feels that they, he was given up on after his loss to Alexis Rocha who was going to be looking like he's next in line to face Terrence Crawford as a mandatory. And he also stated that going into that fight with Rocha, that he didn't have a long camp, that he pretty much wasn't prepared for that fight with Alexis Rocha. But Blair says this, quote, I don't mind knocking off Jerron Ennis. I don't mind knocking off Virgil Ortiz. I don't mind fighting these guys at the top. In a fair fight, I smoke them easy. It's not even a fair fight for me. And this is what Blair Cobb said about his fight with Alexis Rocha in last March. Now with the trainers that I have in a full eight week camp, All right? So he's saying in a fair fight, in a full eight week camp with the trainers that he have now, he beats Alexis Rocha easy. Then he says, Terrence Crawford will break him down and put him out. Crawford will stop Rocha, Crawford will win that fight easily. And he says, I'm not with Golden Boy anymore until they come up with some numbers that make sense. The contract expired and they have not brought anything to the table to resign me and I'm not going to resign for nothing so his contract expired he's not trying to accept pennies and likely at this point at 33 years old 16 one Blair Flair Cobbs would like to get pushed like a top fighter this is the vibe that I'm getting from Blair like he wants to get treated like a, 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 a top elite fighter one of the top guys in a division. I mean, Blair Flair Cobbs, for what it's worth, right? Exciting fighter, in and out of the ring. So he should be, a guy like him, should be a promoter's dream. A promoter don't got to do too much talking because Blair Flair Cobbs will do all the talking, right? Exciting fighter. He seemed like he'll get in the ring with anybody, right? He may not win them all, right? We got to see. He said that the Alexis Rocha fight, he wasn't given a fair shake. He was sick or something like that, right? He said, I came in as a B-side fighter and over and over again, I proved myself worthy of being promoted. And over and over again, they have failed to make me, failed to take me to the elite level and cast me aside for their other fighters that don't have a chance in fighting and beating me. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it was looking like, bro. You know? And if you're a fighter, a black fighter, if you're going to be doing business, and this is just my opinion, if you're going to be doing business with Golden Boy, it's going to have to be a fight by fight type of deal because you might be shelved for quite a while, right? You might be sitting on that shelf for quite a while unless they want to try to feed you off to some of the other fighters they're trying to build up, right? And that's kind of what it looked like in the Alexis Rocha fight. Blair Flair came in um, as the B side in that fight. He did a lot of talking, a lot of promoting, made a, quite a name for himself, right? Then he ended up losing that fight in, in, in pretty, um, I would say, embarrassing fashion. But then he, since then, bounced back after that and, you know, got a nice little win after that. So, Blair the Flair Cops um, is looking to get things back on track. And he wants to be promoted as an elite fighter. He said, before the Maurice Hooker fight, everybody swore to God that Blair the Flair was finished. But I wasn't finished. And I proved... That last fight against Alex Rosa was a circumstantial loss and a complete fluke. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So he says the loss to Rocha was a fluke, a complete fluke. We don't hear nothing from Golden Boy again. Before the fight, it was Virgil Ortiz. And after the fight, nothing. If you don't believe in your guy, I would exploit it. We don't know what Virgil is capable of doing. He had a hard time hitting a moving target like Michael McKinnison that didn't hit back. Well, Blade of Flair Cobbs will hit back. And you will hit the deck. Chase me all you want. Wow. Gotta love Blair, man. Gotta love you. You boxing combat sports needs guys like Blair the Flair Cops. He's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. He's not. But you need these type of guys, these, these showmen, right? These guys who, who who's not afraid to put on a show for the people. Whether they go out there and lose or go out there and put up a performance of a lifetime, they always gonna pull up a show. They always got something interesting to say, right? They, 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 they just, guys like Blair makes things interesting. It's unfortunate, right, that he wasn't built up from the ground up to be a star, right? Because he has the qualities to be a star. He could talk. He's a showman. He's a people person. He he, he has all the qualities to be a a, a, a a pretty solid name in the sport of boxing. However, he spent a lot of, a lot of time with Golden Boy. And Golden Boy really didn't do much for Blair to Flair Cobbs, unfortunately. But yeah, you guys, that's the latest. He said Crawford smokes Rocha. He said that he wasn't given a fair shake in the Rocha fight. He didn't have a full camp or anything like that. He said he'll beat that guy easy. He said he'll beat Boots. He said he'll beat up on Virgil. And that he's no longer with Golden Boy until they come correct. Tell me what you guys think. Like, subscribe, Hodge Boy. Peace out.